All right, everybody, welcome in. Let's see what's going on with the Twin Flame journey right now. This is for the collective. I'll be pulling cards for the collective. Um, let's see where we go here. All right, I'm going to use this deck. Tonight at 6, I am posting a little tarot lesson for everybody. You have asked, and I am responding to that. If you want to learn tarot from me, definitely catch that that live. I'm going to do at 6 p.m. tonight, or it's a premiere tonight at 6 p.m. All right, let's see where we go here. Let's see where we go. Out of the mess comes elegant order. Mm -hmm. Coming soon. Welcome to the ascending age. Your greatest work is your legendary legacy. This feels to me like a, a twin flame connection that has uh, been supremely messed up. Okay. Like, you know, it's just, I don't know that many people who are on the twin flame journey who feel like theirs is pure bliss. However, I, I do feel like this is something that really got twisted around. Um, and I feel like that's part of the lesson, right? That's part of the lesson. Come here, Charlie. Oh my goodness. There we go. Um, I feel like that's part of the lesson that, uh, things are, things got really messed up and there was like no way to set it straight. So it's lessons about control. It's lessons about, um, other people's free will. And I, I mean, you know, I think a lot of times when, you know, we're talking about the twin flame journey, we can forget that that other person, even though they're the other half of our soul or they are a uh, monadic, if you want to know what type of twin flame you are, check out this video. You know, even though it's like, yes, I expect twin flame to be a little bit messy. This is a little bit beyond that. All right. This feels like purposeful messiness. Um, in order to get rid of perfectionism, in order to get rid of maybe this fairy tale way of looking at things, like uh, asking uh, uh, the universe, asking you to be more clear about what you want or more clear about the situation than you are right now. So, yeah, here's underneath for the feminine. This is divine feminine over here. The star card, king of swords, very Aquarian energy here. Empress, Nine of Pentacles, Six of Swords, King of Wands, the Moon, and the Knight of Wands. So I feel like the feminine here is coming across as a little offended by this. King of Swords is like, uh, I'm sorry, I don't do this. I don't do this messy stuff. Okay, so the feminine may be um, really not wanting to maybe even rejecting, full on rejecting this idea of twin flame because it's, you know, it just seems too crazy. It seems too out there. Um, and just, you know, I'm not, you know, this might be a, um, a twin flame uh, or a, a divine feminine that's just opened up. And it does seem to me that there is a little... There's more to this story. There are plenty of things that are hidden. And I think the feminine thinks they've got it. They know everything. But I don't think they do. I don't think, if this is you, Divine Feminine, I think um, you don't know everything. And the situation is Venus here. And this is very self-assured. Empress and the Nine of Pentacles. Like, it's almost like this divine feminine doesn't feel like there's um, anything to really discuss. There's, there's nothing to be, um, there's nothing messy that I want to discuss about this, or there's nothing to this that makes me feel like I don't know everything. I feel like this divine feminine does not know everything. And I also feel like this divine feminine has come to a place of peace about this twin flame connection, peace and even healing. Okay. And even healing. So it's quite possible that the divine feminine has chosen to move on from this. 
Like, it's too crazy. I don't want to deal with this. Moving on towards a life partner with the King of Wands here. Okay. Taking action. We have Mars. Mars is going retrograde later this year. And it doesn't happen very often. It happens every couple of years. Um, and I almost feel like that's a timing. That's timing in this situation where there's going to be something that they recognize that they didn't know. All right. Divine feminine. I feel like you might move on to a new partner, move on to a divine, another, um, this is a life partner. This is not another divine masculine or anything like that. This person's a regular straight up soulmate life partner. And I almost feel like in October, there's going to be a sense of return from the divine masculine. You didn't know everything. Divine feminine, <clears throat> excuse me. You did not know everything. And We'll see what comes of that. But there is there is a lovely sense of healing here, a sense of clarity. And it's just like, you know what? This twin, twin gig too, is too uh, upsetting for me or it's making me feel very out of sorts or not in control. I feel like that could be the issue here is control. And, you know, wanting to feel in control. We all want to feel in control, all right? Um, but there's a walking away toward a regular soulmate and the masculine I feel like shows up later and it's like, you know what? You didn't know everything. So three of cups underneath for the masculine, six of pentacles, eight of swords, seven of pentacles, ace of cups, king of pentacles, 10 of swords and the outcome, the fool. All right. So there's a new beginning here. I pulled this from the bottom of the deck. Uh, not by accident, but it's definitely not the outcome card. This is the outcome card. And I feel like this divine masculine has a lot to offer. I don't really know that the feminine sees that. Okay. I don't really know that the feminine sees that this masculine is the ace of cups and the king of pentacles. I don't think they see that. And it's not like, uh, you know, I think there is a feeling of betrayal and a feeling of stuckness on the part of the masculine. I just don't think, I think the masculine's having a hard time making a decision right now. So, okay, so they're asking, they're asking for balance, they're wanting to make a decision. This could be something about money for the masculine that they are trying to figure out, but there's so much in their own head that they're not seeing things clearly, right? Out of the mess comes elegant order. The feminine's like, I'm not dealing with this. Um, I feel like the masculine is, going to choose <clears throat> is going to choose a new path that is clear clear and unencumbered and letting go of all of these uh four of cups and ten of swords experiences i do feel like the masculine feels betrayed um that the feminine chooses to move on i do see that feeling a uh, feeling really betrayed and Listen it and like I'm finally ready to make an offer. I finally have stability. Um, and I, I feel like the masculine isn't really seeing what's going on here with the feminine. The feminine's moving on, and the masculine is like believes that the feminine will wait around until they figure it out. It's almost like that morning message I had today, which was like you get pushed like a time pressure situation. You gotta choose right now. And I feel like the masculine is um, dilly-dallying, like, uh, maybe this, maybe that, maybe this, maybe that. And the feminine's like, you know what? I'm out. Um, and then the masculine has to act, has to act, makes a choice for the new path. And I do feel like comes back around to the feminine. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so... There is a little bit of um, the feminine doesn't know everything. And I feel like the masculine has has uh, tried to put themselves in the best possible position. And I feel like it does have something to do with money that they might have had. Um, they might have had to borrow. They might have had to make choices. They may have 
might have had to change their jobs or change their careers and feeling like they weren't really at a place where they could come toward the feminine. Okay, so underneath the Queen of Swords, this is the energy of the connection right now. Knight of Cups. So Queen of Swords is, uh, it's like the masculine is looking at the feminine. The feminine energy of the Queen of Swords is like, um, that's the moment of choice where the feminine decides to move on. The masculine is finally getting things settled so that they can come toward the feminine. And like, where'd you go? Knight of Cups, too, too slow. Death, Two of Swords, Six of Wands, Chariot, and the Seven of Pentacles again. My goodness. All right, Four of Swords. So we are um, in a healing mode for this connection. We are in a healing mode. And I like this. I like that, you know, there is some kind of uh, coming together. There's, there is going to be some kind of conversation. I do think the feminine at first is like, no, you know what? I really got to, I can't hang out in this weird thing anymore. Um, <laughs> this weird thing, but there's a third element. So it's not really the energy of the divine feminine or the energy of the divine masculine. There's a situation in the ascension or in the energy of ascension that is changing the calculus on, you know, it's time for me to move off and, and have a life partner. It's time for me to you know, divine masculine. Okay. I finally got my money under control. So now I can go with my divine feminine. There's something else. There's another entity that you may not have seen coming and it's pushing, it's pushing the two of you together. All right. The Ascension itself, it's, it's sort of like, you know, the feminine decides to go toward a masculine or a, um, a soulmate the masculine, you know, is like making their own timeline decisions based on money. And like the universe is like, isn't that cute? Like you do have free will, but this is, there's a, 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 a contract here that is in need of your attention. So that's cute that you think you can move away from this. And that's, isn't that charming that you think you can um, wait out, wait until something is settled with your work or something like that. Isn't that cute? Because there's something bigger here. There's a contract that needs to be um, death, a contract that needs to be um, taken into consideration. It's mission. It's mission that you have a contract for a mission. And I feel like that's what's taking precedence. You know, I feel like the feminine and the masculine are both thinking of this in quite literal 3D terms. They're not thinking of it. 5D is a, it's a level of your consciousness. It's a way of being that is more conscious, that is more aligned uh, with spirit, that's more aligned with the energies of what's going on. And it's less about my 3D life. Both of these, this feminine and this masculine, both are thinking with their 3D brains right now. And that is definitely not what's going on. Okay. The ascension is going to change everything. So it's like man plans and God laughs, right? There's a little bit of that here. And I feel like... Um, it's a healing mission. Now the feminine has the, has the star underneath the masculine has the three of cups. And I, there is something about the two of you. I'm sorry, baby. The two of you coming together to, um, do some healing work or be part of a, a healing wave that's trying to get going, you know, the wave in the stadium, how it's trying to get going, it's trying to get going. And I feel like it's forcing you together. This is forcing you back together. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, so this does feel a little bit like we have to put more time and effort into this mission, into this joint mission. We cannot ignore it anymore. 
the time is coming. The transformation is coming and we have to focus on it. So there's going to be a shift here of what I think I'm doing next or where I think I'm going next. Divine Feminine, you think you're going off toward um, uh, a life partner, getting, you know, we're moving away from Twin Flame. Literally, it could be moving. Um, the Divine Masculine, same thing. The Divine Masculine is waiting until they get their bonus <laughs> or something. But they're bo you're, you both are thinking decidedly with a 3D type of expression. And the connection here is showing otherwise. So I do feel like what happens is something comes across your plate that wakes you up. That's like, oh, I need to, I need to pay attention. Could be a dream. It could be some telepathy. This person, uh, so I was driving the other day and I just had this very powerful wave of connectedness to my twin flame. And I was like, wow, where did that come from? And I thought, oh, well, maybe it's the song on the radio, but that didn't make, it didn't make a lot of sense where it came from. And it's very possible that what you're going to be experiencing is um, beyond your own explanation. There could be some kind of big um, leveling up in terms of your capabilities, your healing capabilities, your dreamscape, your ability to access the Akash. There's something really jars you out of your 3D dream here and uh, pushes you back together. All right. So I'm going to continue on here and see where we go. Um, yeah, I'm going to go on. I'm going to continue on, see where we go. Twin Flames, if, you, if this is your story, there's a link below. If you want to continue on with me, I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.